Intro to Falling. An essential element of animation is the timing and spacing between drawings. This is a basic concept that's listed as one of the 12 principles of animation. These principles are well known to animators and are described in the book The Illusion of Life. We'll discuss some of the other principles in uh, other tutorials. We'll start with timing and spacing for falling motion, such as a falling baseball. In this case, the drawing is the same round ball on every frame. To animate the ball so that it moves realistically, you need to know where the ball should be on each frame. The ball drop, or ball bounce, is presented as a basic exercise in every major textbook for animation. So you might ask, why is this example considered so important? It's important because the principle of timing and spacing used to create a believable ball drop applies to many other types of animated motion. For example, the character animation of a jumping cat or the effects animation of a stream of water. Now, animators measure time in different ways. There's counting frames, which are typically a 24th of a second in film animation. You can also count keys or key poses for drawings. Finally, you can think about time in terms of actual seconds on a clock. Now, animators typically use all of these. They might use a stopwatch to plan the length of a shot, then convert that into a frame count, and then decide on how many key poses they will put into that shot. As an example of how this works, here are some key poses for the animation of a jump. Now this animation is shot on threes. That is, there are three frames between each drawing. Key number one is the first pose, and then three frames later is key number two, then three frames later key number three, and so forth. Animators often vary the number of frames between keys. However, to keep things simple, I'll always have the same number of frames between each key. Frame rate is measured in frames per second, or FPS, and two common frame rates are 24 FPS used in film and 30 FPS, uh, which is used in video. We'll always use 24 uh, FPS in our examples, and you can easily convert to the video frame rate if you need to. Dope sheets, also called exposure sheets or X sheets, are used by animators to tabulate which drawing or pose goes on which frame. Now these dope sheets are more common in traditional hand-drawn animation, but they're useful in general when thinking about timing and spacing. In this dope sheet, for an animation shot on threes, key number one is on frame one, then key number two is on frame four, and so forth. So getting back to the ball drop, Let's say that the ball starts from a height of about four feet. By shooting reference or using a stopwatch, you find that it takes about half a second for the ball to hit the ground from this height. Half a second at 24 FPS is 12 frames. For an animation that is shot on twos, your dope sheet would look something like this. Key number one is on frame one and then 12 frames later, you have key number 7 when the ball hits the ground. Now the question is, where should the ball be on keys number 2 through number 6? In other words, what are the spacings for falling motion? The next few videos will explain how to create a believable ball drop in both traditional and computer animation. So, in uh, summary, falling motion is an important basic exercise for learning animation.
timing and spacing fundamentally define motion. Time may be measured in frames, key poses, or seconds on the clock. And the next few videos will show you how to create believable spacings for falling motion. See you then.